Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Today I'm answering a question which um, many have asked and that is how to launch the editor directly bypassing the home screen. Um, the desktop icons after installing Photoshop Elements is launching the uh, home screen directly. So if I double click on this icon here, it brings up the home screen. I'll just pull this down a little bit so it's more in better view and you can see we have these icons now for uh, launching the organizer the editor or the video app um, you also have the opportunity to open recent files and uh, view auto creations which are usually slideshows collages or videos of your recent imports we also have at the top these various help cards um, which give tips for using the applications. Now in previous uh, versions, I'm going to just bring up this other screen, you can see that we had the opportunity to select which app would open automatically. We could, we could choose the welcome screen, which was the default, but we could also set the settings to launch the editor directly upon clicking the desktop icon. As I say, that's now been replaced by the, um, by the new home screen or, or hub as it's called. So let's launch the photo editor by, uh, by, by double clicking on the, or just clicking once and as you can see the editor launches. What we can do now is to, is to right click on the editor icon. So if I, if I right click on the editor icon, make sure you're choosing the editor and not the icon for the, for the home screen. We can right click and choose pin to taskbar. So that's now pinned to the taskbar, which means that I can now launch the app with a single click. And I can get rid of the, um, the, um, the home screen permanently. So there we are, one click there. And I'm going to just drag this so it's next to the other apps that I've already pinned. So you can see I now have um, the apps pinned for the organizer, the video editor and the photo editor and we can simply launch those with a single click. In addition to pinning to the taskbar, we can also create a Windows shortcut on the desktop. Um, if you just right click anywhere on the desktop and choose new shortcut, and then you can browse to the editor app. So click in the browse button. Um, we're going to choose um, the location for the editor. So we need to go to Program Files and open the uh, Program Files and then open the Adobe folder. And we can see the folder here for Adobe Photoshop Elements 2022 is what we're looking for. And there we have it. And then we need to scroll down to the files beginning with P and look for the editor application. Um, there we have it, Photoshop Elements Editor. That's the one to select and click OK. And we can then, having set the path to the editor application, which you can see ends in EXE, we can click Next. And I like to rename this Editor 2022. So I'm going to just type in the box editor 2022 and I will know exactly what the shortcut is for and we can see this new shortcut has been created here for the um, for the editor. Now one of the advantages is that if you've saved images to the desktop you can simply drag and drop onto the new shortcut. So this photograph I have here which was recently taken in Autumn Woodland, I can just drag it onto the new icon and that will launch it automatically in the editor. So that's one of the advantages of having both the application pinned and a desktop shortcut. Um, the, the, the application pin gives you one click launch and um, the desktop shortcut gives you the opportunity to drag and drop images straight onto the editor. Mac users can also do something similar and after launching the editor app from the home screen simply right click on the, the dock icon and choose options keep in dock. Uh, once that's checked you'll be able to launch the 
editor or any other Adobe app with a single click. Um, there's no need to create a shortcut or an alias as it's known on Mac OS. Um, you can simply drag, drag <laughs> sorry, you can simply drag desktop um, images straight onto the dock icon and that will launch the app with the photo in the editor. So that's another quick tip for Mac users. Uh, I hope you like this video and thanks for watching. If you do like it, please click on the subscribe button and like the video and that will enable me to keep on providing um, content free of charge and you can also subscribe to notifications by clicking on the bell icon. See you next time and bye for now.